guys, my name is Shane and I'm so excited because today I am filming another empties video. I love empties videos because I feel like I've had the time and the patience to use up all of these products to give you a genuine opinion about how I like these products. It's really hard to give you an appropriate opinion on something or really a review about a product if I haven't really been using them for a long time. So that's why I like empties so much because I truly feel like you get a really good idea of how products work and if they're worth it. So I have a lot of products to show you guys so let's just get right into it. So to be honest I kind of want to start 90% of this video is beauty related but I do have a couple of miscellaneous products that I think I just want to start with to kind of get it out of the way. Not really, kind of, sort of, maybe. Because I really really want to talk about some of the beauty products I have. So, I mean really, they're just candles. <laughs> But the first one is from Yankee Candle and it's the scent in Macintosh. Oh my goodness. Mm, this has been my favorite scent for such a long time. I remember in high school I used to have this little mini travel size um, Macintosh sanitizer and I used to put it on every day and everybody's like, oh my gosh, what is that? It smells incredible. A hand sanitizer, but just because it smelled like this Macintosh, people loved it. I was so sad when I finally, it reached that point of where there's still wax in it, but the wick itself won't light anymore. And it was such a sad day because Yankee Candle, it's expensive. What can I say? I've recently found like a dupe at Target, but it smells incredible, but it doesn't last long. Like these definitely last longer. So if you do have a little bit of extra money to dish out on candles, I would definitely recommend maybe going to Yankee Candle versus like, I mean, Bath and Body Works um, candles are pretty good too, but maybe stay away from like the Target or the Walmart brand. They're going to smell amazing, but they won't last very long. And then the second candle that I have is actually from Bath and Body Works and this is the Watermelon Lemonade Scent. I know it's not pretty right now, but it was at one point, I want to say it was like, well I can kind of see, it was green on the bottom and then like light pink in the middle and then almost like a pinkish red at the top. Uh, maybe I'm getting those colors wrong, but I know there were three colors like a watermelon and this Oh, I can still smell it. It smells incredible. It smells so good. It's such a fun and fruity summer scent. So if you're totally into those products, I would definitely recommend giving this one a try. All right, now we are going to get into my beauty empties, which is probably what everybody's here for. So I'm not going to go in any particular order. I'm going to pull one out and talk about it and let you know if I would repurchase it or not. So this first one comes from Lush. This is the Huan Wen Hua <laughs> hair treatment. Every time I've talked about this product, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's completely used up. I've actually like emptied it out. Well, not emptied it. I used it. I cleaned it out um, to try to get that face mask. I guess if you bring like five of these back, back you get a face mask that I really want to give a try. So this product is a nutritious vitamin rich mask to improve the strength, shine, condition, and happiness of your hair and scalp. Now. I both loved and hated this product. I can't tell you for sure if I would ever go back and purchase this specific hair treatment. One, I didn't notice that huge of a difference. I mean, when I used it, it, my hair felt better. Not like silk or anything, but it did feel better. My hair tends to be just really, really dry no matter what I do to it. My hair just enjoys being dry. So, you know, I would apply the mask and leave it on and then rinse it out and I'd be like, wow, my hair feels awesome. But it, the effect didn't really last that long. And if you have really thick or long hair, don't get this mask because you're gonna end up using a ton of it. And I remember the scent really wasn't that good. It, it just, it didn't have a good scent, which didn't really necessarily bother me because scents of products doesn't tell me if the product is gonna work or not. It just, it's like a perk if it smells good almost to me. Um, this just didn't have a fantastic scent. So if you only go for products, you know, if they smell good or whatever, this is definitely not going to be up your alley. I don't know. I don't want to say don't give it a try because like I said, when I did use it, I did notice a difference. But 
because I have such thick hair. Even without my extensions, my hair is ridiculously thick. I found myself using a lot of it and I would only use it once a week and I flew through it. So I was actually like taking a break from using these products for a couple of weeks because I didn't want to have to go and repurchase one right away. But with that being said, I also feel like I didn't get the full effect effect of the product so really with this product I would tell you to try it out yourself if you really wanted to try to find a good hair mask and see if it works for you. Oh, I gotta change my battery hang on. I swear the world doesn't want me to film today so if we adjust it again I'm sorry this time I had to change my memory card. <laughs> oh, I wonder if I can just literally show you why I don't like this product. God, I really hope you can see this. All right, I'm gonna try to focus on this because you gotta see what's going on. Do you see any of that? I really hope so. I really hope so. It's literally like, <laughs> I took the freaking cap off and the freaking powder is smoking. This powder, okay, so this, I didn't even tell you what it is. I just told you it was from this. Um, it's the HD Studio finishing powder. Now I had picked this powder up at um, maybe CVS because I ran out of my uh, go-to translucent powder which is Airspun which I personally find at CVS um, but I think that's also at any drugstore but I could not find this Airspun powder. The drugstore that I had gone to um, was just sold out of it and I always set my under eye concealer with powder and if I don't my eye makeup tends to just kind of leak onto my face so I always try to finish with powder if I can. So I picked up this powder again with the mindset like okay it definitely could be a hit or a miss because it is NYX and I just knew my background with a lot of their products and I, I think I've ingested more of this product than I actually used of this product. It is so, oh my gosh, it's so thin to the point of like, like I said, you open it and it freaking smokes. Like it's crazy. It is, oh, I hate everything about this. I hate the scent of it. I, it goes everywhere. Like I feel like half of... Oh my gosh, it's like almost empty. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't used this much because a couple times of using it, I realized I did not like it. And you guys won't really be able to tell on camera, I wouldn't think, but like it's almost empty and I've barely used any of it. Like, I just, I hate this product so freaking much, so much. I've never hated a product so much in my life. I've never, I, well, I shouldn't say never, but I very rarely will ever return anything. I just, it's really embarrassing to me, but this was one of those things that I should have returned and I wanted to, and I, I just should have gotten my money back for it. It was awful. By the way, I noticed that if <laughs> there's a little bit of red in this area, I had on a red, red lipstick earlier and we won't get into what happened, but it just, it got everywhere. It's just a terrible product. <laughs> All right, moving on, uh, I have a couple of products from Lush. So this was the Nightwing Shower Jelly. This was an exclusive to the um, little pumpkin and little bat theme that they had last year. And this came um, with the Lord of Misrule Shower Gel in the bat one. I loved the scent of this one. I was so happy with it. This is, um, let me see if this scent says the scent at all to be completely honest I don't think it does uh, it says a fantastic fruity sorry it's kind of jacked up so I'm trying to read it um, fruity scented jelly to put the bite back into your bathroom so that didn't tell me anything <laughs> except that it's a fruity scent but I can almost smell like lime oh my goodness this was my favorite smelling one um, since I ran out of this one, I've recently picked up the lemon one, which I think is amazing too. It smells incredible, but this was actually in like the shape of a bat. It was so cute, and I'm so looking forward to Halloween this year with Lush, and I'm hoping that they bring those um, the bat and jack-o'-lantern back. Speaking of the Lord of Miserable, this was the shower jelly that came with the bat uh, container. So this is, or says, uh, a feast for the senses. Get down and earthy with this mischievous herbal blend of spicy black pepper and someone's calling me. 
okay sorry it was just my husband <laughs> um, and patchouli oils I'm not really sure now this product in itself is it's good it's a it's a body wash um, and the scent is really really nice okay so the only reason that I would not repurchase this for myself is because I find the scent a little bit masculine when I'm using a product I'm a big well, I don't want to say a big sticklers for scents, kind of like what I mentioned with the Juan Wen Hua thing. Um, I didn't really particularly care that it didn't smell good, but it still smelled like a woman's product. Where this, I truly could see my husband using this. And that's why I'm saying, like, I wouldn't not repurchase this, but I just wouldn't repurchase it for myself. I feel like this would be a fantastic gift for maybe your dad, husband, or boyfriend, or even your brother. But personally, for me, I probably wouldn't shower with it. Alright, next empties is the Selsun Blue Medicated with Menthol Maximum Strength Dandruff Shampoo. <laughs> Now this is super embarrassing to share, but I feel like over the past couple of weeks I've been sharing with you guys like my hair growth adventure tragedy. <laughs> and um, you know, I've been telling you guys what products I've been using and what products have worked for me, what products haven't worked for me, and this shampoo is amazing. Now I struggle with a dry scalp, not really anymore, but especially when I was in high school. It was so embarrassing because I used to deal with flaking all the time and you know how brutal kids are and I was already like severely bullied not even for like the flaking or anything just like I have a story time on like why I shave my arms um you know I haven't really talked about it a lot but I was bullied for my nose I was just bullied for so much so this was just one of those things where I was like oh my god if anybody ever sees this or like finds out that I have a dry scalp like that's the end of me so recently over the past couple of months I had been on hunt with you guys actually I had asked for suggestions and stuff um, to find a shampoo that would get rid of this problem. I had tried so many like natural at home remedies and things helped but they weren't long term. It was just sort of a quick fix and I was looking for long term. So I tried this Selsun Blue stuff. Again, I got the medicated one. I know there's different like styles I want to say but the medicated one has worked wonders for me and I wash my hair once a week I do a coconut oil treatment first I leave that on for two hours then I wash it out with this medicated stuff and I've seen night and day difference with my scalp so if you're someone who's struggling with dandruff it's nothing nothing to be ashamed of you're not a dirty person or anything I'm just trying to think of like the way that it made me feel it made me feel extremely unconfident and I hope that this product will bring back your confidence because you're beautiful all right mm, great product uh, this is the Nair shower power sensitive formula sensitive cream for legs and body. Now the concept of this product is ingenious. You put it on before you shower, you leave it on for I think like three to five minutes or so, then you wipe it off and your hair is gone like magic. This burns! This burns so bad. I don't know if it burns everybody else and I don't consider myself to have like extremely sensitive skin, but oh my god, this hurt like hell and not only did it like burn when you put it on but like even after I would remove it and you know wash down my legs and everything it just stung like crazy now on the other hand it removes hair like it made my legs feel like freaking butter it really did but girl I don't want my legs to be on fire every time I go to use this product so yeah, the product works, but you gotta go through hell to get to work for you. I don't think I'll ever repurchase this one. Next, I have this Cap on D Featherweight Feather. Oh my gosh, Lock It Featherweight Primer. Um, I don't know if this was ever called Tattoo Primer, but I know that the foundation at one point was called Tattoo. Not anymore, but it was. Um, but this was just a primer. It was actually a white product inside, and I really, really, really liked it. Um, but the only thing is that I like full and heavy coverage. Ooh, whoops! We'll just leave it on the floor. <laughs> I really like full and heavy coverage, so. You know, the primer was fantastic. I think it would be even better for people who just preferred a lighter weight 
makeup, maybe for people who use like BB creams all the time, who don't use like heavy foundations and powders and all that fun stuff like I do. I love the foundation and I love the primer while I used it, but recently it's been replaced by the um, Benefit Professional Matte Rescue, which I've been absolutely loving, but that product still is amazing. Oh, and there's a dead bug in this container. Ah! Three more products to get through. Now this little single compact is actually from NYX and that's what I mean about the hit or misses because I freaking love this. Now I can't really show you a color. Um, it was just a matte white uh, single eyeshadow but as you can tell I well beyond hit the pan of this product. I love it. I still actually use it. Um, like my inner tear ducts are highlighted with this product. I know we're focusing. Okay. Um, my inner tear ducts are highlighted with this product. My brow bone is highlighted with the product. I'm borderline obsessed <laughs> with mattes and I really, really like this and it really was affordable. It was only five six dollars or so which to me was affordable um but i love this product and it has been since repurchased what are you telling me camera i'm not sure two more products so this is just a little black container and this was the american cream conditioner by lush um and i only had gotten a sample size but i like wiped this thing clean i really really loved the scent of this conditioner I can't really tell you exactly what it did because I only had a sample so I felt like I didn't have enough to you know do a proper review on um, but I want to go and purchase the full size of this product it smells again amazing oh my goodness but if any of you guys have used this product, let me know what you think. Last but not least, we have this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. Um, this has been featured on many, many, many a tutorial. Whoops! Why am I dropping everything today? Um, I love this concealer. It's like just enough coverage. It's not extremely full, so I would say it's probably a medium coverage. It blends out beautifully. It lightens up. Um, this one specifically is like the bright brightener one. I'm not really sure. Uh, but it does say that it's a treatment concealer with goji berry. I don't really, I don't really know. <laughs> I, can't, I can't prove that or not. Um, but it does help with under eye circles and um, you guys have seen me without makeup if you've seen any of my other like vlogs and stuff. I'm always on camera without makeup but when I don't have makeup, my eyes just tend to be red. So I was really looking for a concealer, a concealer to help conceal those dark circles and that did just that. So I've repurchased this many, many times and I recommend it. So those are all my empties. So I'm so glad that I had a lot of pro I lied. I lied. <laughs> this is the, actually, you know what's funny is this was actually supposed to be in my first empties video, but I forgot about it and I almost forgot about it in this empties video as well. Oh my gosh. So this is the Fresh Berries 3-in-1 Shower Gel Shampoo and Bubble Bath. It's an Ulta exclusive. Um, I don't use it as the bubble bath part and honestly, I don't think I've ever used it as a shampoo either. Um, I used to use this as a shower gel and it smells so, so good. Oh my gosh, it smells almost like bubble gum in a way. I really, really loved it. Maybe like a strawberry bubble gum. That's what it smells like. Um, again, I would just use this as a shower gel because I find that like three in one products or even two in one products really dried up my hair and that's why I didn't want to use it on my, um, as a shampoo. So I only used it as a shower gel, but it smelled amazing. It has no parabens, uh, gluten, Flaflians? <laughs> I don't know. And DEA? I don't know. It says 3 in 1 indulgent, indulgent smoothie. Lives skin and hair soft and smooth with every yummy cleansing. Our special recipe is an antioxidant com complex of acai, goji berry, and mango steam superfruits to enhance health and beauty. And I know they had a bunch of scents of these, so if you like personally go to an Ulta and smell this one and not like it, which I don't know why you wouldn't, but it 
it's okay. We all have our personal preferences. They do have other scents. I have another one that's like a peppermint one that I use during the holidays and stuff like Thanksgiving and Christmas. They're amazing. All right, now those are all the products I had to show you as I was starting to say. I'm so glad that I had a handful of products again to show you that I've emptied and I've used up and I let you know what I thought of them. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and leave a big old thumbs up. And if you wanna be notified about my next video, go ahead and hit that little subscribe button I left for you down here in the corner. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Bye.